Hello everyone. Welcome to Friday's edition of Take 5, where we've spent this week talking a little bit about fasting. We spent the early part of the week actually fasting from Take 5 due to the weather. But this is the week of Ash Wednesday, and we looked a little bit at Lent, and people give things up for Lent. Maybe you did, I did. Some people don't like it, that's fine. Um, but the whole idea of Ash Wednesday and Lent is sort of looking humbly, repentantly forward 40-some days to the crucifixion of Christ on Friday and ultimately the celebration of the celebration of Easter Sunday. Fasting is a part of the humility of, in a sense, of n nailing my sins to Christ's cross, but also putting the ashes on my forehead to say that I humbly um, acknowledge the, the need for Christ to die for my sins. It all goes into that. Today, as we end the week, I want to be in a passage, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. It's a beautiful passage that reminds us as we look forward to Good Friday, Easter Sunday, in many ways, a description of the whole Christian life. What does it encompass? What is my part in there? We look at Friday and we say, who died on Friday? And we say, Jesus did. On Sunday, who came to life? Jesus did. This passage is going to demonstrate our partnership with that. And it's not just for Lent. It's for all of life. It's a great passage. And three and a half minutes will not do it justice. But I want you to hear it and um, understand it a little bit, even as we head into the weekend. Here we go. Galatians 2. I'm going to read it and then we'll talk about it. Galatians 2, verse 20. Who died? I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Beautiful passage. I have been crucified with Christ is the way it starts. And so asking the question, who died on Good Friday? Christ was crucified on that cross and paid the penalty for my sins. But he says, I have been crucified with Christ. So in a sense, in a spiritual sense, I too have been crucified. I died as well. I am crucified with Christ. And so whereas the penalty for my sins has been taken care of, by being crucified with Christ, the power of sin has now been taken care of. My old nature, my old habits, all the old voices and tendencies that want to get me into sin, that has been crucified with Christ. And then he says, and I no longer live. I, why do I no longer live? Well, because I've been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. So, in a sense, the old me, that's why sometimes at, at baptisms, people take on new names. It's a symbol that they their old self has died, and now they have a new name. They are a new person. And I no longer live but Christ lives in me. And because Christ lives in me, there's new priorities. There's a new power to live. There are new desires, new wants, all of that. Why? Because Christ lives in me. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Now, the tendency when you hear that, I no longer live, is to think that now... Now my life in Christ is this total passivity that I'm just sort of a blob on the couch. Blah, I don't have to do anything. Christ will do everything. You know, there used to be a phrase some years ago, let go and let God. I don't know what that means and it's kind of silly, but that's not the Christian life. I no longer live. The old me no longer lives, but Christ lives in me. But now listen to what he says. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in Christ. I do have to live. I do have to make choices. I do have to be active, not passive. The life I now live in my body. I've got to live, guys. The old me was crucified with Christ, and now Christ lives in me. But I have to live. I have to make choices. I have to, I have to live my life. I have to relate to people. But the life I now live, I no longer live the way I used to live. That's been crucified with Christ. The way I live now, he says it, is through faith. It's through faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. It's a whole new sort of operating system by which I live. No longer my old self, all my old habits and all of that. It's now the new life. 
and the operating system is by faith in Christ. Who died? Christ died on the cross. My old self was crucified with him. And now I don't live, but Christ lives in me. But I do live. And the life that I live in my body, I live it by faith. That's my, that's my operating system. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.